Hello viewers, welcome to episode number two of the corner cutting challenge in Forza 6. So for those of you who didn't watch the first one, I'm going to do a clean lap here, work out the quickest possible time or a very quick time um, in a clean manner and then we're going to cut every corner and be a dirty little cheat to see exactly uh, how much time you can save around this circuit. Now Yas Marina, we all know, is one of the worst circuits for corner cutting and track extending, which is why I've chosen it. So another reminder uh, from like the first video is simply do not cut corners because I will find you, I will track you down and I will lock you up in my basement. Um, unfortunately there were a couple of guys who did end up cutting corners after the warning I gave out in the first video and they are locked up in my basement so I recommend if uh, unless you want to follow that fate uh, I recommend you stick to the circuit so this is the fastest lap we are going to do today going into the little chicane here at the end of the very long straight breaking at the end of the curb get a little bit locked up but we are still going to hit the apex lose a little bit of time there not a huge amount Still managed to connect with the second apex as we come out onto the second straight, coming down into a very hard chicane to get right. Now, I think the chicane here is going to be where we can gain quite a lot of time, especially uh, going in there, you can extend that by quite a lot. Now, this is the chicane here I'm talking about. A lot of people cut this one. This is probably the worst corner in the game for cutting. Pretty much everyone cuts that one, very annoyingly. Um, so actually keeping it very tidy through there, the curbs aren't too kind of, uh, to you around this circuit. They're actually fairly nasty, or well, they are in most, most tracks in this game to be fair. But around here they're not the, really the best. You can take them, but you just have to be a bit careful of the throttle when you do take them. It's so coming through underneath the hotel. We are looking for about a 2 minute 10. I did just above that in the previous two couple of laps here. Uh, so this is the third lap out of three which is enough really to get a decent time. We're only going to do three laps for the corner cutting as well. Into the final turn, going for a late apex to get better speed down the straight. We're going to go straight to the finish line and we are going to get a 2 minute 10.806. So that is the time to beat in the corner cutting challenge in just a moment. So here's confirmation, 600 or so in the world. And yeah, 2 minute 10.806. That's with no assists in a Lamborghini Gallardo tuned up to 883 and for those of you who were um, wondering where this Gallardo came from if you go to my channel uh, the banner this is the car that is featured in the banner so this is going to be my recon lap um, if you like to see exactly where you can cut and extend now already there's a massive extension there you can go very wide and into the second turn or the third turn now you can go very wide here take all of this there's plenty there to be taken. It doesn't slow you down at all. Into the next chicane. You can cut the entry. Cut the second part as well. Into the hairpin at the end. You can uh, cut this one. So going through there. Pretty much every corner so far you can cut. You can extend as well on the exit. So much space to extend on the exit as well. And then into the next uh, chicane. You can extend on the way in. There's a little bit of a cut opportunity. The first apex. Bigger one on the second apex. And you can go wide on the exit to extend that as well so plenty of extension opportunities and coming into this chicane as we mentioned extending on the way in a little bit late on the brakes but you can cut this um, both of the chicane parts there go out wide here and aim for the wall almost before cutting back across extending on the exit gaining a lot of time from this and coming into the hotel area you can go very wide extend the entry for this one and come back to get a better angle around that turn keep a lot more speed through there I'm coming underneath the hotel now very beautiful building but I don't like the track um, actually I think it's a really good facility this place but as for the track I think it's a bit artificial and very boring very dull actually but coming through into the last turn extending galore look at that this is a noobs heaven uh, Abu Dhabi you can cut pretty much every corner pretty much every corner there you can extend or cut in some way which is really just astounding so this is going to be my proper lap here the second lap of three let's see what we can do we did a two minute six there so that's already four seconds quicker and that was a standing start so let's see if we can go even quicker this time going even wider look at that 
That is absolutely astounding through there into the chicane. I'm going to get this one a little bit better this time. They're very close to the barrier on both sides there. Get closer to the apex or the cutting apex, shall we say. Go for a late apex there. And as we go down the long straight, you can extend this exit like a proper noob would do. Although the noobs are really that they tend to do more cuts than extending. But if you looked at my BAC Mono um, cheating scum video, uh, he was doing extending as well. Coming into the chicane, cutting on the entry and the exit. I I'd say that's gaining at least a second or so around there. Maybe two. I think around the slower corners you're going to gain uh, more time than the faster ones. So the second chicane here, this one you're going to gain quite a lot. Going around the outside to extend the entry, get a better angle, get a better speed. Massive cut there. Go out wide before coming back. Aiming for that red barrier on the end there. That is your apex pretty much. And then coming out of the corner very nicely into the hotel section once again. This corner here feels very clumsy normally. But when you do this, you can really gain a lot of speed through there. Getting very close to the barrier on the inside for maximum speed gain. And maximum trolling level. Oh, getting very close to that. The trolling level is real. It's real, guys. This is how you do it. And then coming into the second to last corner. Now taking the normal apex, but then going wide on the exit. Keeping your foot in. Into the last turn. Going over the curb. And on the exit, extending like a bitch. As we come over the start line. Let's see what we can do here. 2 minutes 1.587. So that is really, really fast when you cut all those corners. There's a clean lap, 210.8. Dirty cheating noob lap, 2 minutes 1.587 for a difference of 9.2 seconds. That is really just ridiculous how much you can cut around here. And we all know this is probably the one of the worst tracks. I reckon Top Gear might be able to top that actually. So it'll be very interesting to see what I can do around there. But that is going to be all for me today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode guys. Uh, please suggest more tracks for me to do. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.